Hello, guys. Good evening to everyone. Hi, uh, good evening. Um, well, today is our last class today. Uh, um, well, we're going to try. I was just checking or someone is texting on the group. I guess it is you, Felix. Yeah, so I just want to say that there's there's no problem. It's okay. So if you're there, at least you're going to pay attention to what I'm going to say. So it's okay. So for the others, thank you very much for being here in our last class. Uh, well, we didn't even fill 16 classes. So today we're going to start as usual. I'm gonna start asking you questions regarding to the previous class, which is about yesterday's class. Yesterday's class was about time expressions and uh, um, well, I'm going to always ask you questions regarding to that. Also, as I, as I told you yesterday, today we're going to also have a, um, you know, a, a practice. And we're gonna try to verify uh, if you have any doubt, if, if something was not clear, if there's something or any doubt that you might have, I will be here to help you out. So um, another question that I have, are you or, or, this, or everyone here already complete the platform? Ya todos los que están acá completaron? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Yes, Thank you. Yes, teacher. What about you, Oscar? Did you finish already? Pardon? Did you finish already? Sí, teacher. Okay, great. Thank you very much for that. So guys, uh, probably administration already got in contact with you or with some of you, or they will get in contact with you next week and they will request your company or they will request you to send some documentation for you to be in module number two, okay? So, um, well, we're gonna start with today's class. Now, um, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to yesterday. Now, the first question is, what is the most common questions that we use when we want to know the time? Can someone tell me? The most common questions. What time is it? What time is it? That's one and the other. What is the time? What is the time? Thank you very much, Julio. Now, what is the question that we ask when we want to know the time, but we want to be polite and we ask to strangers? What is the question? Could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Thank you very much. Now. The last ones, what are the question forms that we use to talk or to ask about a specific time? What time? When? What time and when, exactly. Thank you very much, Julio. Okay, um, another question. And this question is gonna be for Juan. One, what is the first, um, how do I say, for example, if I ask you, what time is it? Que hora son? What are you going to tell me? It's the nine, five. Nine, five. Uh, do you, did I, did I tell you guys that, si les dije que cuando vimos los números decimos, O five para decir cero, we don't say zero. Why? Americans, uh, they normally use the letter O, la letra O, to refer to the number zero. So you can say one, it's nine O five, okay? But it was good in general. Now, Patricia, 
Patricia, um, if I want to say um, 9.45, how would you say that? Um, it's um, 20 to 10. Eh, 45 me dijo, eh, perdón. Um, quarter. It's a quarter. It's quarter to 10. It's a quarter to 10. Excellent. Thank you very much, Patricia. Now let's see. Jorge Luis. How you doing, sir? Yes. Okay. Uh, how do we say reloj pero de mano? And watch. Watch? What is the other way? De que otra forma? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you forgot it? Someone remembers? Alguien se acuerda? How do we say that? Okay. It's okay. Yeah, Jessica, we say wrist watch. Thank you very much, Jessica. Now, uh, let's see. How do we say reloj pero de pared? Clock. Clock. Okay, clock. Now, how do we say medianoche? Midnight. Midnight. Midnight, correct. How do we say mediodía? Noon. Noon. Excellent. Now, I guess we're pretty clear on that information. So um, let's see. Just let me check here. So before we go to today's class, I'm going to share with you uh, some something here so you can have an idea all right so um this one is an activity or an exercise that we're going to do we are obviously not going to write no almost escribir why because you cannot do it so what i'm going what i'm going to do is that i'm going to give you a number and then you tell me the time i will tell you yo te voy a decir form number one or form number two either or okay so we're going to start with julio Julio, I need you to tell me the time using form number two, the first one. It's 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 ten to o to eight. It's ten to eight. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, does any one of you have any other uh, opinion about what Julio said? It's 10 past nine. It's 10 past nine. Mm. Someone else has any um, opinion? Past eight. Past eight. Past eight. Past eight. Yeah, it's 10 past eight. Correct, why can we say uh, two, because we're still on minute number 10. But thank you very much, Julio. Now, Oscar, can you please go ahead and tell me uh, but using form number two? Uh, 10 to 11. It's 10 to 11. Thank you very much. Now, Juan, let's go with uh, number three, using form number two. One. It's 20 to six. It's 20 to six. Thank you very much. Patricia, go ahead and do the same theme using form number two in this one. Um. It's quarter to eight. It's a quarter to eight. Thank you very much, Patricia. Now, let's go with Francisco. Francisco. Cantando me voy, diga. 
Jesus Christ, it's <laughs> okay. It's okay, Francisco. We're gonna go with Elena. Elena, can you please go ahead and help me with this one? I will ask you later, Francisco. Elena? Well, probably she's not there or she's having some internet connection situation. Jessica, then. Um. It's 20 past 12. It's 20 past 12. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Uh, we're going to go with Beatrice. Beatrice, let's go with this one. Um, it's quarter past nine. It's quarter past nine. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with Jorge. This one. It's it's one and thirty-five. One thirty-five. Okay, that's for form number one. Now let's go ahead and do it with form number two. Yo. Yes, you. Uh, repeat, please. <laughs> Can you do it with form number two? Uh, I don't know the forms. No, 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 Two. Two. To two. Yeah, it's 25 to two. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go with the last one that is going to be for Oswaldo Stanley. Yes. Go ahead, Oswaldo. You have this one. You think form number two. La última. Yes. Uh, five. It's five. Two, 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 three, perdón. Two, three, excellent. Two, three. Yeah, thank you Teacher, very much. Una, una, una consulta. Yes. Fíjese que yo recuerdo en mis tiempos de bachillerato mm -hmm. que usábamos el before y el, y el after para mm -hmm. también para decir la hora. Está correcto, no. Uh, Digamos en la última es five before two. Um, I mean, that's that's going to be okay uh, if you want to speak a language of the streets, let's say. Está bien si es, es lenguaje de la calle, podríamos llamarle así. Lenguaje eh, en inglés de la calle utilizado por personas eh, that didn't go to school, que no tuvieron la oportunidad de ir a la escuela, or normalmente utilizados por las comunidades autóctonas de personas de color, eh, ya que la mayoría de ellos en sus tiempos de, de esclavitud no lograron tener una educación. Eh, ustedes ya saben la historia de más o menos de eso. So, it is okay, está bien, but grammatically is not correct. Gramaticalmente no está correcto, but if you use it, they are going to understand. Si lo utilizas, siempre te van a entender porque es lenguaje de la calle. Ok, gracias. All right, so now we're going to move on to today's class. Today's class, guys, it's going to be more uh, about vocabulary. Vocabulary about daily routines, rutinas diarias, things that you do every day, cosas que tú haces todos los días. So um, let me just go ahead and share the screen so everyone can see it. Those loving, can everyone see it? Yes. All right, so we're gonna move on. And yes. We're gonna start with um, 
with something first of all trying to understand what is a routine. Vamos a entender primero que es una rutina. What is a routine? Can someone help me reading? I mean, I need two people. Necesito dos personas. One for this part and another one for part number two. Volunteers. Voy primero. Who are you? What's, your, leerlo, name? Eh? What's your name? Oh, Oscar. 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 Go ahead, Oscar. Uh, routine is usual series of things that you do at a particular time. Okay. Thank you very much, Oscar. Now, can I have another volunteer? Go ahead, Elena. Okay, it's okay. A routine is also the practice of regularly doing things in a fixed order. Okay, so as it says here, a routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. A routine is also the practice of regularly doing things in a fixed order. What does it mean? That, for example, todo lleva un orden, ¿verdad? Usted no se va a bañar primero y después se va a despertar. That's not possible. It's like the, you have to follow an order. Hay que seguir un orden. So first of all, you wake up, primero se despierta, then you take a shower, then probably you eat, then you go to work, and then so on and so on. You, you, you have an order of things. It's not that primero se va al trabajo y después allá en el trabajo se va a despertar. No, we don't do that. That's impossible. So a routine is something that we're going to follow an order. And here we have a list of routines, lista de rutinas. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to make the pronunciation of all of them, the first part de esta lista, and then les voy a preguntar tres a cada uno. Everyone is going to participate. Todos van a participar. So what I need you to do is to listen to the pronunciation and repeat it at home. Repetirlo en su casa, okay? Then later on, if you have any question regarding to the meaning, the significado of any of those, you ask me and then I will tell you. But first of all, I'm going to tell you the pronunciation one by one. I will repeat it three times. Lo voy a repetir tres veces. And then I move, I move, I move, and then I ask you. Les voy a preguntar. So we're going to start with the first one. That is, do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. The laundry. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Clothes. The clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron Make the, clothes. the bed. Make. The bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Up. Wake up. Wake up. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Drive to work. Uh, drive to work. to work. Drive to work. Drive to work. Home. home. Get home. Get, Get home. 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 Take a bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Surf the net. Surf the net. Surf the net. 
The last one, play with friends, play with friends. Now, we're gonna start with, vamos a empezar con Oswaldo Stanley. I need you to make the pronunciation of the first three, de los primeros tres. Go ahead. Okay. Do, do to lounge. Laundry, perdón. Okay. Laundry. Mm -hmm. And the clothes. Okay. Iron the clothes. That was a good pronunciation as well. But thank you very much. Thank you. Beatriz, let's go with you, Beatriz. May to bed. Okay. Go to bed. Okay. Way up. Wake up. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go with Jorge Luis. Okay. Brush the teeth. Okay. Drive to work. Okay. Get home. Excellent. Really nice. Patricia, let's go with you. Um, take a bath. Okay. Brush your hair, mm -hmm. surf the net. Say the last one. Um, play with friends. Play with friends. Now, question for you all. Understand everything that is here? Entienden todo lo que está acá? Or you have questions? No question. Which ones? Cuáles? Las primeras tres. Do you the first three. Laundry? When we say do the laundry, lavar. Que en, en, casos, en caso literal sería hacer la lavandería. But it's the same as lavar. So hang the clothes. Eh, colgar la ropa. Iron the clothes, planchar la ropa. Thank you. Another question? Teacher, el que dice brush the teeth, exactly. Brush the teeth is like what we do here. Okay. Cepillarse, brush the teeth, cepillar los dientes. Any other one? Well, when I, this, mm -hmm. when I when I say go to bed, can I say go to bed? Yes. When you're speaking fast, I mean, right now, I was just saying go to bed because it's, I mean, it, you're still getting some things. But when you're speaking fast and you you already know how to say things, you can say go to go to bed. So that's possible. When you're speaking. Now, if there's no any other question regarding to the first part, I'm going to move on to part number two. So once again, now this time I will repeat it twice. So we'll repeat it those veces each one. You pay attention and then I will ask you again. Now, let's go. Go to school. Go shopping. Go shopping. Exercise. Exercise. Wash the car. Wash the car. Get dressed. Get dressed. Go out with a friend. Go out with a friend. Take pictures. Take pictures. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Water the plant. Water the plant. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Work. Work. Have breakfast, have breakfast, have lunch, 
have lunch. So, okay. Now let's see. Um, are you having the same situation as Oscar or it's only him? No, no. Se ve, se ve todo bien, profe. Okay, I guess no. Oscar probably is your internet connection that is not working well. So that's probably the reason why you cannot see the, the sentences. Probably is the internet that is not working. Creo que el internet está fallando porque yo escucho como un poco cortado. Oh yeah, that's that's probably what, what's happening. Aquí está, ya le encontré, teacher. Okay, all right. Gracias. Disco. Let's go with you, Francisco, and help me with the first three. Go to school. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Go to I will ask you again. What did I say yesterday? ¿Qué les dije ayer de las palabras que empiezan con S? No mencionar. No, que no llevan la E. No, no mencionar una E. Solo el sonido de la S. So, una vez más, Francisco. Go to School sería. Mm. Siempre se escucha esa school al inicio. Solo es el sonido. Which, which is the sound? School. 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 Excellent. That was better. Thank you. Good. Let's move on to number Go two. shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping. Exercise. Exercise. Okay. Now, Jessica, let's go with you, Jessica. Watch the, the car. Get dressed. Get dressed. Dress. Go out with a friend. Go out with a friend. And this one? Take picture. Take pictures. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go with Rebecca. Play the guitar. Play the guitar, okay. What are the plans? Excellent. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Really nice pronunciation, Rebecca. That was good. So let me see. Uh, volunteer. Volunteer for the last three. Your teacher. Work. Okay, go ahead. Work. Mm -hmm. Have breakfast. Okay. Have lunch. Okay, thank you very much. That was good, Elena. Thank you. Now, question. Do you understand everything here or you have questions? Teacher, get dressed. Vestirse. Get dressed. Vestirse. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Go is water the plant. Water the plants, regar las plantas. Okay, thank you. Teacher, uh, go for a walk. Go for a walk, ir a caminar. For example, you said, estás aburrido, y tú dices, oh, I will go for a walk, voy a ir a caminar. Teacher, surf the net. Surf the net is navegar por el internet. Surf the net. Oh, surf the net, yeah, yeah, that's it. Teacher, e have breakfast? Have breakfast, desayunar. Okay. All right. So I guess there's no more questions. So I'm going to move on to the next part. And we have another list. Tenemos otra lista de activities that we do. De actividades que hacemos. Now, uh, once again, I'm going to repeat the pronunciation two times. Of each one of them, I will start with the first part, then I ask you, and then we move on to part number two. We're going to do the same thing. Now let's start. Have dinner. Have dinner. Make dinner. Make dinner. Fold the laundry. Fold the laundry. Surf the net. Well, it's, it's, a, it's repetitive. Se repitió there. So feed the dog. Feed the dog. Take a taxi. 
take a taxi. Wait for the bus. Wait for the bus. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. Have breakfast. And I'm sorry, have a break and take a break. Now, in this one, I will stop here. Me voy a detener un poco en esta. According to this, in UK, in United Kingdom, en el Reino Unido, ellos dicen, have a break, para referirse a descansar. Cuando en la empresa le dicen, ok, puede tomarse un break de 10 minutos, un descanso de 10 minutos. So, in UK, they say, have a break. But in United States, in Estados Unidos, they say, take a break. So what it changes, solo es el verbo. Have and take. That's pretty much the only change that we have. Now, uh, let's go ahead and make the pronunciation of those. And we're going to start with Patricia. Let's start with the first three. Uh, Make dinner, fold the laundry. Thank you very much. We're going to go with Julio. Surf the net, feed the dog, take a taxi. Excellent. That was really good. Oswaldo, let's go with you, Oswaldo. Wait, Wait for the bus. For the bus. Bus. Mm -hmm. Paint the picture. Have a break, a break, take a break. Break. Okay. Now, uh, any question that you have from part number one? Paint the picture. Paint the picture, es pintar. Then fold the laundry. Fold the laundry, doblar la ropa. Fold the laundry. Make dinner. Make dinner is hacer la cena. All right, so I guess we're clear on part number one. So I'm going to move on to part number two. I'm going to do the same thing. I will repeat it twice and then. I ask you, and then if you have questions, I will respond to the questions later on. Now, I will start. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Rake the leaves. Rake the leaves. Read the news, read the news. Clean the window, clean the window. Cut the grass, cut the grass. Do the dishes, do the dishes. Paint the house, paint the house. Now, I would like to have for this time Jessica with the first three. Yes, teacher. Walk the dog. Okay, I will stop you there. We don't pronounce the letter L. Okay. Walk. Okay. Walk the dog. Excellent. Take out the rubbish. Rubbish, okay. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Okay, thank you very much. Rebecca, let's continue with you. Break uh, the leaves. Okay. Read the news. Okay. Clean the windows. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jorge Luis. We finished with you. Cut the grass. Okay. Do the dish. Okay. Paint the house. Excellent. Now, questions for part number two? Teacher. 
Break the leaves. Break the leaves. When we say that is podar. Podar okay. las ramas de un árbol. Break the leaves. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish. Rubbish, I'm sorry. Sacar la basura. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rubbish, this one, eh, también se puede decir trash. Trash es lo mismo que basura o rubbish. Either or, cualquiera de las dos. Teacher, ¿y cuando se dice trasher, por ejemplo? Trasher. The trasher es el basurero. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Pero no el basurero. Ese puede ser usado en dos contextos. It means el basurero literal, el depósito. O el basurero, la persona recogedora de basura. Ah, ok. Gracias. All right. Any other question? To the grass. Oh, I'm sorry. Who, 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 who was first? Yes. Do the dish. Do the dishes. Lavar los platos. Do the dishes. Another one? Break the leaves. Break the leaves es lo que estaba diciendo. Podar. Podar los... Ah, podar. Gracias. Someone else? Cut the grass. Uh, cut the grass. The grass is cortar la grama. Teacher, sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Trapear el piso. Trapear. Sweep the floor. So, which means, lo que significa que ahora usted ya no va a decir, ¿verdad? Si de repente have a conversation, tiene una conversación con alguien, ya va a saber cómo decir, oh, voy a lavar los trastes. Can you please do the dishes? Or, puede podarme el árbol. Can you break the leaves? Or, trapear. Como nosotros le decimos, like in Spanish, sweep the floor. Okay. So now those expressions are going to help. Oh, you have a question, Francisco? No, no. No, okay. So those things or these expressions are going to help you to know, to have more vocabulary for you. Now, if there's no any other question, we're going to go just to some examples. Vamos a leer unos ejemplos. And I will need uh, uh, Julio for the first one. I often, I often to the laundry on, on Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. Okay, this one, esta palabra de acá la podemos pronunciar como often or often. Cualquiera de las dos es correcta. Y significa a menudo. I often do the laundry on Saturday morning. Yo muy a, a menudo lavo la ropa los sábados en la mañana. Saturday morning. Mm. Well, let's go with Jessica for number two. You show mm. hand the clothes when the sun shines. Okay. You should should hang the clothes when the sun shines. Tú deberías tender la ropa o colgar la ropa cuando el oh, sol brilla. Sure. The sun shines. Now, Francisco, can you help me with number, with this one, with the first one there? My mom loves iron the clothes. My mom loves ironing the clothes. Mi mamá ama planchar la ropa, ironing the clothes. So now, with um, Juan, can you help me with this one? We are taught to make to bed after getting up. Okay. This one, esta palabra, es el pasado del verbo enseñar, que es el verbo, just let me write it, Los voy a escribir acá. The verb teach, enseñar. El pasado es tot. Lo pronunciamos como t o t. Tot. We are taught to make the bed 
after getting up. Somos enseñados a hacer la cama después de levantarnos. After getting up. Okay. Thank you very much, Juan. And let me move on to the next part. E can I have uh, Patricia for the first one? Uh, go to bed late will have bad effect to our health. Okay. Go to bed late will have bad effect to our health. Irse a la cama tarde tendrá malos efectos en nuestra salud. Health. Salud. All right. Thank you, Patricia. Let's go with Beatriz. I often wait uh, uh, at a six o'clock in the morning. Okay. I often wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Muy a menudo me levanto a las seis de la mañana. Seis en punto de la mañana. Now, let's see this one for Jorge Luis. Brush the teeth. The doctors at, at base at Beast used to brush the teeth twice a day. Okay, the doctors advise us advise us to, to brush, brush the teeth twice, twice a day. A day. Dos veces al día. Twice, mm -hmm. twice a day. Excellent. Thank you, Jorge Luis. Los doctores nos advierten cepillarnos los dientes. Dos veces al día. So now let's go with Oswaldo. My, fa my father sometimes drive to work instead of taking a bus. Okay, here. Cuando tenemos un verbo que tiene una S, siempre pronunciamos la S bien. Para que se note que estamos hablando de tercera persona. Eso lo van a ver en el próximo módulo, pero si se lo van aprendiendo desde ya, that will be better. So, okay. mother sometimes drives to work instead of taking a bus. Mi padre algunas veces conduce al trabajo en lugar de, instead of, tomar un bus. So, Rebecca, for the first one. It's time to get home. Okay, es tiempo de llegar a casa. Get home. And let's go with Francisco. Oh, I'm sorry. Francisco with this one. When exactly when do you let take umbrella? Okay. When exactly? When did you last take a bath? ¿Cuándo exactamente? ¿Cuándo tomaste tu último baño? And we're going to finish with this. Vamos a terminar eh, this part with this. And I will need Julio for the first one. Uh, do not brush your hair with too much force. Okay. No hay que cepillarse o eh, peinarse el cabello con mucha fuerza. Friend, no, let's see. Um, Jessica, let's go with number two. He surfed the net looking for ways to study. Study, okay. He surfed the net looking for ways to study. Navegó por el internet buscando maneras de estudiar. Now, Elena. One day we're playing with my friend. I accidentally broke a window in a store near our home. Okay, thank you, Elena. One day while Playing with my friends, I accidentally broke a window in a store near our home. Un día jugando con mis amigos, accidentalmente rompí una ventana en una tienda cerca de nuestra casa. That's what it says. Now, guys, do you have any questions? Preguntas hasta el momento? 
No? No. no. So if there's no questions, we're going to move on to the practice. And that's what we're going to do. This is the practice for today. So go ahead and take a screenshot or a picture if you're using phone or computer and you let me know so I can move on to number two. Yes. Okay. And that's going to be all. So we just have two exercises, actually. And let's see. Let me just create the breakout rooms to see how this is going to be working. Okay. Remove this person here. Okay, please go ahead and join your rooms. La C. La C sería get dressed. Parece que dijo, ¿verdad? Get dressed. No me recuerdo si eso sí ah, era alguien que me confirme. Sí. Get, get dressed. Sí, así es. La D sería brush my hair, ¿verdad? Brush my hair. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí. Sí. Pero bruce okay. eh, Cepillar. cepillarte o no. Ajá, cepillar el cabello o no. Peinarse. Ah, ahí. Sí, my hair. Sí, 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 Ajá, sí, my hair. Y la otra es eh, take a breakfast. El desayuno. Take a take. breakfast. Sí. Take, tomar. Take a breakfast. Y el otro es, creo que brush también, brush my teeth, que es como cepillarse los dientes. ¿no? Sí. Okay, F is, is brush my teeth. Lo van anotando, ¿verdad? Que yo no puedo escribir en el teléfono. Sí. Ok. Y la última creo que es take the bus. Take the, uh, the bus. The bus. Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo te acuerdo? Sí. Ok. Este, la segunda... Me tapó ahí el, la, la presentación del teacher. No entiendo muy bien qué vamos a hacer. ¿Alguien entendió bien en la, en la parte 2? Read the letter under. Es que eso no lo no, no Creo que es la letra. Ahí la letra, ahí vamos a poner. Ajá, la okay. ok, entonces sería, digamos. La que otra. Wake up. La otra sería la esta, la A. Sí, ¿verdad? Wake up, despertarse. 
Ok. Eh, esto sería take the bus. Entonces sería esta la, la G, ¿verdad? Ay, disculpen la letra. G. Esta sería get dressed, vestirse, ¿verdad? Esta, la T. ¿Cómo? Sí. Take. No, no get dressed. dressed. Es la ah, quinta. Ajá, es ah, de sí. cruzarle. Ajá, ajá. Watch the car. Lavando el carro. Lavando. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch the car. Se pide, dijimos que eran ten. Ajá, brush. My teeth. A my teeth. Es la tercera. De... Sí. Ajá, tercera. brush my teeth. Ajá, cabal. Cuarta. Como to tomar el desayuno. Ajá. Uh -huh. La primera, digo. Uh -huh. Sí, el primero. Y ahí sería my. Brush también, no, my teeth. Se pilla brush. brush. Los dientes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sería, quiero ver. Ah, el segundo. Brush. Uh -huh. Brush. La segunda, no. Ajá. Brush. Y. Y de bus. Take. Why? The bus. ¿Cuál? No, ¿Vale? está diciendo ya la última. Guay. Guay uh -huh. Tomar Why el bus. Uh -huh. Ah, esperar. Es, hay que, ah, esperar. Guay de paz. Esperar el bus. Sería la penúltima. No, pero abordar el bus. Es que había en la, en la segunda de ese guay. Y vas uh -huh. como esperar el bus. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Y es la última. ¿Y la otra cuál era? ¿Lo tomaron la captura? Eso no lo logré tomar. Sí. 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 <risa> Ahorita. Yo you creo play que the, sí. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. The guitar. Play. En la quinta sería make the bed. Podría sí, ser. Make the bed, sí. Okay. Ah, la sí, sexta. Sí. Ride, a bike. Ride a bike, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. sí. Exacto. Excelente. Eh, la, sí. la octava. O Walk séptima. séptima the ¿verdad? dog. Bueno. Yes, tú, entonces. You're ready? Yes, right. Okay. We are just going to wait for the others to come back to the main session. And then I will give you the final instructions. Okay, I can still see some people in the breakout rooms. Okay, four seconds. All right, so now I see. The... Okay, now the majority has come back to the main session. Well, just let me just share one of them so you can see here. One moment. Okay. All right, so here we have, just gonna show it to you. All right, so I'm just gonna share this part here and let's see. 
What is the first one, guys? Wash the car. Wash the car. See? Yeah, where is that? Oh, let me undo that. Okay. Paso, teacher. Wash the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. What's, where is the other one? What's next? Brush one? my teeth. Brush the teeth, okay? Brush my teeth. It's right here. What about number three? How about what? Have a bath. Have a bath. Have a bath. Okay. The chord? Play, play, the play, the guitar. Guitar. play the guitar. Play the guitar. Okay. What about five? Make, Make the bed. bed. Make the bed. Excellent. What about this one? Right. Bye. 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 This one right here? Go to school. Go to school. To school. This one. Walk the Wal dog. Walk, walk the, dog. the dog. Walk the dog. dog. And this one. Wake up. Wake, Wake up. up. Wake up. And obviously the last one. Read a book. Read a book. Okay. Thank you very much. So I guess we're done with that part. So I'm going to stop sharing. And well. Um, I just want to say guys. And I'm going to say this in Spanish. So you can all understand So, uh, fue un placer para mí, chicos, haber trabajado con todos ustedes. Eh, gracias a los que siempre estuvieron ahí participando. Eh, les deseo lo mejor. Es su primera experiencia, creo, con inglés corporativo. Y, pues, espero que hayan aprendido, aunque sea algo. Eh, bueno, eh, probablemente los vea en otros módulos más adelante. No sé, probablemente no. Uh, fue un placer para mí el poder haber trabajado con ustedes y una vez más les deseo lo mejor no se den por vencidos sigan adelante yo sé que puede ser a veces un poco tedioso y un poquito difícil al inicio de poder llevar la línea de esto pero no es complicado al final se puede lograr y pues si yo lo puedo lograr también porque un día también fui estudiante, eh, so, ustedes también lo pueden hacer. Si alguna vez nos llegamos a encontrar o por ahí me ven, ya saben, el país es pequeño. So, at least say hi, ¿sí? Digan por ahí, hello, teacher, I learn English or something like that. And um, si alguna vez también aprenden otro idioma, yo también soy maestro de francés. So, uh, espero algún día verlos y... Y las puestas para todos. Éxitos para todos, chicos. Y pues no es un adiós, pero algunos probablemente no continúen, algo otro sí. It depends. Y algunos hay veces los mueven de grupos, nos vamos a ver probablemente en otro grupo. Pero gracias a ustedes también por siempre estar ahí y participar. Eh, probablemente, bueno. Hayan habido ocasiones en las que quizás no me entendieron, pero se trata de que o hay veces lo hice hablar mucho o fui muy exigente en la pronunciación probablemente, but siempre me gusta que mis alumnos aprendan lo mejor y que nadie después les vaya a achicar, como dicen, por una mala pronunciación. Así que éxitos a todos, chicos. Eso sería todo por el resto de este módulo. Y bendiciones para todos. So have a good night and see you in the future, okay? Gracias, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.